curve appeal ideas we're talking about today. Why should you care? What they are? And we're going to do this in five simple ideas that I'm going to give you that is very little money to spend, if any at all, and very easy to do. And it's going to make a whole lot of difference in the curb appeal of your house. So let's dive right to it. So why curb appeal is important. Think of this in this terms. Buyers usually would drive by your house before they decide to make an appointment to actually go inside. So they will judge the appearance of the curb appeal, the exterior of the house and its surroundings when making their decision especially if they're driving around in your street on your block and they see beautiful curb appeals everywhere and your house does not have that so usually the curb appeal will give a buyer an indication what they're going to find inside of your house if your house is beautiful inside but you neglected the curb appeal the exterior that may project incorrect assumption for the buyers and they may not even want to go in and make an appointment to even take a look at the house very important for you to know that homes with beautiful curb appeal actually sell for around and don't hold me to it for around five to maybe seven percent higher than comparable properties alike that may have their curb appeal is not so great maybe even bad and they will sell for less money my goal is always to help you do things to your home so you can get the most money when you decide to sell your house ready for idea number one i am let's do it I want you to go and look at the grass, landscaping, and trees, shrubs that you might have on your property. And make sure that they are all in tip-top shape. Now, if your grass is burnt out or maybe it's not doing so good, try to get into watering it on a regular basis. See if that helps. If that does not help, then a good idea would be to bring in some artificial grass, plant it and have it mowed, obviously, when it grows. And that's going to make a huge difference. Trim bushes. If the bushes are beyond help and beyond salvaging, maybe replanting, taking those old ones out, putting ones new ones in you got to be careful with those try not to spend too much money on these because sometimes they don't do very well so you want to keep your expenses to the minimum and trees if the trees are interfering with the exterior of the house a lot of times we have branches that kind of touch the home itself then trim those out and make the tree look like it's gotten a haircut the other thing is assuming the season allows then maybe plant some nice beautiful flowers or put some flowers in flower pots just bring some color into the equation and make things look pretty a good idea if you need some ideas drive around the neighborhood and see what stands out to you what's the first thing you notice what draws your attention and try to duplicate that in your own home number two we are going to look at our roof okay so if you have a roof that's old that's probably something that you want to consider and actually invest in a roof replacement that's going to be your highest return on investment most buyers they will shy away they're not interested in spending money right up front as they become the new owner of the property so a roof is a big thing it's even if you can't tell that the roof needs repair or replacement on the onset maybe the house is really high 
and you can't really see the roof, but right within a week or so, when the home inspector comes in and takes an inspection of the roof, the home inspector will let the buyer know that the roof needs to be replaced and then the buyer may choose to walk away or may choose to renegotiate the price. So I'm always for try. Let's try to avoid unnecessary issues that may come up, especially if we can foresee them ahead of time. So if this is something you want to consider, I highly recommend. That's the one thing that you do want to spend some money and take care of the roof. Number three, let's talk about the exterior of the property. And that will be things like the siding or dirty stucco just does not look good. It looks dirty. It looks old. It looks un attended to and it looks unmaintained so we don't want that to be something that as soon as we walk up to the house this is what we're seeing so do power washing clean it up get a do it yourself you can rent a power washing machine at a home depot or lowe's or hire somebody else to do that for you make sure that you clean it up and to the best that's possible. We're not even getting into paint and stuff like that. And of course, look at the front door. If the front door looks run down or old, not necessarily do I say you need to buy a new front door. See if you could make the correction by cleaning it out and putting a fresh coat of paint on the front door. That will do a whole lot of difference for your front door. Number five is a few things. We can look at mailboxes. If you have a mailbox near your house, if it looks old and dirty, if it's not something you can clean to make it look nice, then just replace it. Look at the house number on your house. If you don't have one, make sure you put one. And then if you do have one and it's old, maybe you want to replace it. Maybe replace it with a house number that has light. Also, buyers that come look at your house, they can find your house easily. Very important to have lighting around the exterior of the house. The last thing you want is a buyer tripping over and falling down. And they're definitely going to look at it as a sign from above that they shouldn't really buy this house. Probably a lot more. I have a video about curb appeal that goes into more detail. You can watch that next. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this information was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to click on the notification bell and like this video. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. See you in the next video.